Hello, I'm Chucky J, and it's time to open some Hearthstone Gadget Sand packs. So let's get into the game here. Hopefully, it's going to show up fine here. There we go. Yay! Uh, the little so I was trying to record. There's a little guy here that shows up and uh, gives you this quest, and he already showed up when I was trying to get this recording going. So, so Gadgetan is now here. It's a big expansion. It's not a single player um, adventure where you earn cards. It's just a big expansion of cards which then you can use. So we could pre-order if you wanted to. Um, usually you get, if you wanted to order $50 worth of packs, you would get 40, but for the pre-order you get 50. So I went ahead and did that. Also need to aim for this quest here. Oh, I'm clicking at OBS, that's not gonna work. All right, so let's go in here and see what we've got. I do like these new packs and how they open. I've seen that already today. All right, 50 packs. Let's hope we get some good stuff. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk about all the cards, but there are some interesting ones. So the rare one here is the Hidden Cache. It's a new secret for the Hunter, which is almost certainly going to trigger pretty quickly after you play it, which is when your opponent plays a minion, give a random minion in your hand, plus two, plus two. So this plays into one of the new mechanics where you're buffing things that are already in your hand. Uh, same thing here. So as long as this grimy Gadgeteer stays around, he's buffing random minions in your hand. So pretty cool. Guess I need to actually drop it in there. Okay, backroom bouncer, bouncer whenever a friendly minion dies, gain plus one attack. I guess if you're already planning on sending some minions in to die, then going for this one Putting this guy on the board and then sending your guys in would buff him up pretty significantly. Um, Smuggler's Run, all minions in your hand, plus one, plus one. So best value would be when you have a lot of minions in your hand, which you might not have right at the start. Uh, so I've already got the two of those, so I'm almost certainly going to get a bunch of duplicates of these because it's common. Epic! Wind up Burglebot. Whenever this attacks a minion and survives, draw a card. So because it has five health, you might it might survive for a while. But at six, if you're playing it on six and next turn your opponent is on seven, there's various ways they could get rid of it. I'm definitely not a Hearthstone expert, but I've been learning a lot recently with um since Karazan and the the run up to Gadget San. So five health is usually good, but it might not be all that good. Um, so this is one of the other new mechanics. Well, it's kind of a combination. So this is the there are these crime families that contain that there are three classes inside of and so any of the three classes represented here can use this card so mage priest or warlock and when you play it a mage card a priest card and a warlock card will appear and you can pick any of the three pretty cool idea
Oh, already. But by all accounts, this is one of the dumbest, <laughs> one of the goofiest legendaries ever made. Mayor Noggin Fogger. All targets are chosen randomly. So if we take that at full face value, that would mean even your weapon, like let's say you're a warrior, this guy is down on the board. You try to attack with your weapon and you could attack anything, I guess, including your own minions, maybe. Um, I think it's going to be pretty pointless in general, but some tavern brawls would probably... That would be probably pretty good in some of the tavern brawls. All right, got the Burgle Bot. If a friendly minion has five or more attack, gain plus two, plus two. Um, so that isn't going to happen all that much. Although I guess maybe druids can pull that off. But this would be better when you're buffing stuff in your hand and then you play it um and i believe this triggers off of itself so if this is already five five then it'll gain another plus two plus two when you play it i'm pretty sure that's how that works so the other new mechanic here is the jade golems jade golems increment so you can see down there in the bottom left each jade golem is plus one plus one bigger than the last so you're getting, you start with a 1-1. One, one. So if I play this on turn two, I get this guy plus a 1-1. One, one. And then the next Jade Golem card summons a 2-2 two, two, and summons a 3-3, three, three, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty, it's going to be pretty fun to mess around with. All right, so let's keep going here. Those are the major mechanics. So you give a random beast in your hand, plus two, plus two. So you're buffing things in your hand instead of buffing them on the board. A polymorph secret. Interesting. Uh, give all the... So when it says this, that means minions on, the, on your board. Summon a Jade Golem, give it Taunt. Uh, eh. <laughs> I don't know about... Warlocks have to be careful how they spend their health because you want to draw cards. Now, if you already have a Great Murloc in your hand and you're willing to give up that amount of health to get that on the board then that's fine, I guess, but I don't know how useful that's going to be. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, sorry about that. I've got audio going now. For some reason, <clears throat> I need to look at my OBS stuff. Maybe I need to have the game going before I launch OBS, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Sorry. Just bump the microphone there. Um, I've seen plenty of people start games and audio starts up fine <clears throat> so I'm not sure what's going on but now we have audio okay let's just make sure brink brink okay okay so cabal chemist add a random potion to your hand you'd have to look at what the potions are to really know how valuable that is it's interesting, but might not be all that valuable. And it's common, so I've already got two of them. And I'm going to get a bunch more to uh, disenchant. Okay, Grime Street Enforcer, at the end of your turn, give all minions in your hand plus one, plus one. So it'll happen at least once, because you're going to end your turn right there. Then if it stays around the board... If it stays on the board, then you can potentially get another buff out of it, which would be really great. Jade Claws, that's a big deal. Um, so it does overload one, so that's important to keep in mind. 
So you play this on two, you'll only have two mana next turn. But it is a 2-2 weapon and you get a, a Jade Golem. So like, if this is your first time playing a Jade Golem card in that game, then you'll get a 1-1. One, one. But if it's not, if you played a one mana card that also summoned a Jade Golem, then this might get this would give you a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Let's see where we're getting these commons. Mistress of Mixtures is supposedly good for kind of the aggressive type. If I, well, I, I think I'm understanding that wrong because de Death Rattle restores four health to both players. Might actually be better in control. I'm not sure. Two Cabal Lackeys. Restore six health, overload one. It's just interesting that you have the the uh, a healing mechanic here. Okay. Mana worm as a common that everybody can use. So that's interesting, but it's a it's a hefty cost here if you're not ready to cast some spells. Um I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> uh, so my understanding is that rogue could combo off of this so let's let's say you have well i don't know two si7 agents and you i think they're two mana pretty sure might be three um so let's say they're two mana and you've got four mana this will allow you to combo and still play them. Yeah, it might even let you do it on three mana. I'd have to think about that. Um, it's kind of interesting. I don't know how useful this will be. Whenever this minion get, deals damage, gain that much armor. So that could be really good for a warrior. Uh, deal four damage, summon a Jade Golem. Another Jade Claws. Epic! Epic! Blubber Baron, whenever you summon a Battle Cry minion while this is in your hand, gain plus one, plus one. So you're not going to want to play this right away. You need to buff it up for sure. Friendly Bartender, solid two drop, I guess. And it will slowly restore your health if it stays out there, which is interesting. Um, summon a Jade Golem, gain an empty mana crystal. D Druid has this mechanic of building up their mana. So that plays into that and still gives you a, a Jade Golem. All right, let's keep going here. See what we get. Man. Volcanic Potion, deal two damage to all minions, so including yours. Jade Spirit, Battle Cry, summon a Jade Golem. 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 Unlicensed Apothecary, whenever you summon a minion, deal five damage to your hero. Doesn't seem very good. I mean, yes, you're getting a 5-5 five, five for 3. But don't summon too many minions after this. That'd be bad. Doppelgangster, if you can buff this guy up, then the two copies that he summons will also be big. If 
If an enemy minion has taunt, gain charge. <laughs> okay. This is kind of funny. Discover a taunt minion. Could be anything. Could be a legendary. Potion of Madness. We've already got a bunch of those. And we know what that does. Dirty rat. You dirty rat. Your opponent summons a random minion from their hand. That seems... Eh. I mean, it is 2-6 with taunt. Meh. I don't know. Gadgerson Ferryman. So the point that um, the main, the big Hearthstone streamers have been making here is that you get to control. Because it's a combo, if you want to return a friendly menu to your hand, you can play something before this and do it. If you don't want to, you play this first, and then you don't return a minion to your hand. Blood Fury Potion. Give a minion plus three attack. If it's a demon, also give it plus three health. Cool. Okay, Draconid Operative. This is su supposedly really good. If you're holding a dragon, discover a card in your opponent's deck. Jade Shuriken. Deal 2 damage, summon a Jade Golem if it's comboed. Getaway Kodo Secret. When a friendly minion dies, return it to your hand. So it's, so it's escaping. Cabal Talon Priest, give a friendly minion plus three health. Okay. Golden Common. Golden Common. Bomb Squad, this is a weird one. Two, it's two, two health and attack. For five, but you get to deal five damage to an enemy minion. If you can silence it, it's really valuable because the death rattle, the death rattle is that it deals five damage to you. So could be rough. Aha! Yay! This is a really good one. I'm glad I have it. <laughs> So taunt and shuffle the Storm Guardian into your deck. The Storm Guardian is also five mana, but it's a 10-10 with taunt. If I'm remembering that correctly, and I think I am. So that's huge. So if you can get that played on turn five, and th there's no overload, none of that silliness. None of that silliness. <laughs> so it might be fun to build a Jade Golem deck as shaman with with this in it could be really interesting pilfered power gain an empty mana crystal for each friendly minion so even on turn three let's say you you got out one minion and then maybe a minion that summons another one you know so like three small minions that'd be three mana crystals for you Huge. We'll see how it actually plays out. Um, a concern is that when you get it in the late game, I think it... I'm not sure about this, but I think it doesn't give you a card draw when you get an extra mana crystal. So... Enemy minions lose... You lose stealth... Hidden cash we've already talked about. Cool, Golden rare. 
Deal five damage to all characters for Warlock. So it's a... Uh, was it Hellfire on steroids? Yeah, I think that's right. Alley Armor Smith, Taunt. Okay, we've already talked about that one. It was an interesting... Interesting stat distribution, as they say. <laughs> Okay, so Jade Golem card for Druid that sticks. You can either put a Jade Golem on the board or put three copies of this into your deck. But if you have, um, I can't remember the character's name, but there's a, there's a legendary that lets you get both of your choose one. So you could potentially put a Jade Golem out and put three copies in your deck. Weasel Tunneler, 1-1 one, one for 1, shuffle this minion into your opponent's deck. Kind of weird. Um, it might be interesting in that they've got this weird 1-1 one, one in their deck that they don't really want, and it could pop up when they really need something powerful. But other than that, it's just it just feels weird. I don't know. We'll have to see what the pros do with it. <laughs> Okay, Devolve is a big one people have been talking about because we have Evolve, which uh, makes all the minions on your side of the board, it turns them into random versions of one mana higher. Random cards that are one mana higher, which might be bad because some of them, you know, it might be a zero damage, but eight health or, you know, I'm making that up, but... It might be something bad, but usually, like a, a good situation would be your minions are already low on health, and then you go and evolve them, and you're like basically healing them, except they're turning into completely different minions. So devolve is doing the opposite; it's turning all your enemy minions into random ones that cost one less. And one of the points that was made is that if you see a real problem card out there on the board this will get rid of it, but it's not getting rid of it completely. It's replacing it with something else that might also be bad for you. <clears throat> There's Devolve again. I think we're going to have to try a Shaman deck here. I mean, we've got the... I may just try and throw all of the crazy new cards in there and see what happens. Another... Oh, this is Rogue. Lotus Assassin. Stealth, whenever this attacks and kills a minion, gain stealth. <laughs> Could be interesting. Bam. Bam. Grim, Street, Grim Street Pawnbroker. We've seen it, but I didn't talk about it. Give a random minion in your hand, weapon in your hand, plus one, plus one. I think there's another card that gives all the weapons in your deck plus one, plus one. It might be a legendary, I'm not sure. Golden Golden Common. Golden Common. So, this one's interesting. For six mana, you get a 1-1 one, one and a 6-6. Six, six. 
for one mana, you get a 1-1 one, one, and a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Okay. So, similar deal. Two mana, one, one. But you're discovering a card. One from Hunter, one from Paladin, and one from Warrior, and you pick one of those. Cabal Crystal Runner costs two less for each secret that you've played this game. I guess if you're really going to be focusing on secrets, that could be cool. Okay, I think we've seen those before. Oh, another Noggin Fogger. Well, at least I know I have one that I can uh, disenchant. <laughs> Grim Street, Cabal Courier. Yeah, I think we've seen those. Dragonfire Potion. This is a big deal. So Dra Dragon Priest can put this in their deck and deal five damage to all minions except dragons. Of course, you'll probably have some non-dragon minions, almost certainly. And so those would suffer but everything else, all of your dragons, will not get damaged. So it's it's huge. Big deal. Last one. Dispatch Kodo. Deal damage equal to this minion's attack. So this is another one that if you buff it up in your hand and then play it, the damage that you get to deal at when you're dropping it on the board can be pretty significant. So, interesting. Second rate bruiser costs two less if your opponent has at least three minions. Yeah, because this is not... It's really all that it's useful for. Because five, four or five for five is not great. Even with taunt. I don't think that's... I could be wrong, but I don't think that's good stats. All right. So, I guess we try and make a deck here. All right, so let's try that first. Uh, I probably need to get rid of some of these. This, these were, I was messing around for Tavern Brawl and trying to rank up in Wild. Let's just get rid of all these. They were all kind of goofy. And I guess we're going for Shaman since I got that legendary. Um, I don't think these card sets are updated for the new sets yet. Uh, I guess I got Forked Lightning, Lightning recently. Oh, I got a gold Forked Lightning recently. Okay, let's change this to Gadget Sand. And I guess we're going to put in all of these and just uh, give them all a shot. Evolve, Jade Claws. Oh, I need to disenchant my stuff. So let's do that first because there may be... So yeah, one legendary, 400. 90 duplicate commons for 450 and five duplicate rares for 100. All right, so then let's go craft. I guess I do want to be in crafting. Is there any other? Does that mean that's all the new cards that I'm missing for Shaman? Shaman specific. After this minion attacks, a hero transform it into a random six cost minion. Interesting, but We'll, we'll not worry about that. And then Finders Keepers, discover a card with Overload, Overload 1. Okay. Um, 
How about here? Are there some jade cards? That I should craft. No. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go without Aya for now, just till things settle out, and I know what cards are good. I don't know that I want to spend 1600 dust on her yet, but it sounds like she's gonna be really good. Battle Cry and Death Rattle summon a Jade Golem. Silence a minion with Death Rattle. Uh, no. Is that it? Okay. So there's nothing left to craft for as best I as best I can tell for a shaman jade golem deck. There's nothing to, that I need to craft. Um Okay, so I need jade spirits for sure. Um what else do we have here? Anything else this jade? No, really? Okay, so... One, two, three, four... Five, six? Is that it? Maybe that's not gonna be that great. Hmm... I think it's still worth trying, since we're just kind of messing around. Uh, let's go for these taunts. Um, Mistress of Mixtures, sure. Friendly Bartender. That's a uh, bl bluegill sniper. <laughs> um, so the the bonus here for the dirty rat is that if it's a battle cry minion that gets summoned, the battle cry doesn't trigger. Um, I do have a lot of battle cry. Well, no, I don't. Death rattle, death rattle. Battle cry. I guess you could build around this. Let's just try them. See how that goes. I've only got one of them. Um, battle cry. Swap the attack and health of a minion. Let's go for one of those. Uh, I don't have a way to buff. Do I? I don't think I do. So that's not going to be good for me. Um, the only weapon I have right now is the Jade Claws. Isn't there... Okay. I need to figure this out. Isn't there anything else? I thought there was another weapon, but maybe it's... Maybe I'm thinking of... Uh, warrior. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. I was completely missing these. Uh, or one, I don't think so. You have to be very Murloc focused, and I am not Murloc focused right now. Um,. I think at this point, we need to get some non-expansion cards. Let's do one of these. And then let's go back to standard. See what else we want here. Let's put in Rag. 
Let's put in Thorsan. Rag. Uh, and let's go back down here. So we probably need some more early game stuff. Um, let's do an Argent Squire. I don't think Sir Finley. Uh, let's go back in here. Um, forked lightning, lightning bolt. Do I really only have one lightning bolt? Maybe they're from a uh, expansion that I didn't get very many packs of. Spirit claws. Maybe. Let's say yes. Tunnel Trog. Well, Tunnel Trog, I'm not doing um, Overload really right now. Well, I got two there. One. One. Maybe. One. Hmm. I don't know. This is going to be a really bad deck. But we're just messing around right now. Um, Maelstrom, Rock Biter, Flame Tongue. No. Let's take out Kooky Chemist and put in a Flame Tongue. And... Let's take one Mistress of Mixtures and put in a Mana Tide. This is really bad. But let's go try it. 